Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a budget with me and today I will be budgeting $1,123. So let's go ahead and get started. So all of this is January, so we are going to go to February. And I'm gonna start off by writing in this monthly income section. So this is Logan's paycheck. And we have 1,123. Next, I'm going to go to the cash planning sheet. I'm gonna take this out so it's easier to write on. So month is February. Okay, so we're gonna start with our bills binder. The first envelope here is rent, which is getting $3.95. Next is his car payment. which gets 217. Then car insurance gets 120. Next is internet, which gets 54. Phone is getting forty dollars, and we are skipping subscriptions because we canceled our car wash subscription. Just because, since I will be working less now, um, we don't really need that, so we can always get it back again. But yeah, so nothing is going into subscriptions. I'm going to savings and that is going to get five and month ahead is also going to get five and that is going to be it for this binder before I move on to variable expenses I do want to write down our 100 envelope challenge which will get 15. And then I'm gonna do variable expenses. So gas gets 60. And then normally Logan doesn't stuff groceries. I stuff groceries with my paycheck because he has a car payment and car insurance, which I don't pay for. So um, he's going to stuff a little bit into groceries just because my paycheck is really small now because I'm working less. So groceries is getting 55 and we budget 250 for two weeks. So that's it for that. Moving on to this binder right here. Household is going to get 40. Pet care, I'm gonna kind of put a lot towards here because I feel like we're always going over budget and that's because I don't budget enough. So I'm gonna put 55 in here just to kind of get it up there a little bit. And then the last envelope in here I think I want to stuff is long day, which we'll get five. And that is it for that. Next is sinking funds. So the first one is medical, which will get $5. Next is dental, which is getting five. This is empty because Logan got his wisdom teeth taken out. He only got the two top ones taken out. So um, this is empty, he's doing fine. So 
Um, I'm just gonna slowly start stuffing this again, just in case, like for the future. Um, car maintenance. is going to get five. Car registration is also going to get five. And then pet emergency is going to be the last envelope in this binder, which is going to get five as well. So next I have $32 left over and I didn't really know where I wanted to put that. So I have in my brown binder a miscellaneous envelope. This is really not for anything yet. I have no idea what this is for. There's only $7 in here, or no, $9 in here. Uh, I'm just gonna put the rest of the 32 in miscellaneous just because um, my paychecks are going to be smaller. So I want kind of, I don't know. I just, in case we need like extra money or something, I kind of want it to be there. I don't want to put it in month ahead or savings or anything like that because I know these are all of my own envelopes and I can move them, move the money and just use it for whatever I want. It doesn't really have to stay, stay with the category, but to me, if it's in month ahead, I'm not going to spend it. I'm going to strictly use month ahead for bills. And so I'm just going to put it in miscellaneous. So we're left with zero dollars, so I need to do the denominations now. So rent, I need three one hundreds, a fifty, two twenties, and a five. For a car payment, I need two one hundreds, a ten, a five, and two ones. One hundred and twenty, fifty four for internet. Phone is getting two twenties. Savings is five, so is a month ahead. 15, gas is going to stay in his checking account, so I'm gonna skip over that. Groceries, I'm just gonna do a 50 and a five. And for household, I think I wanna do a 20, a 10, a five, and five ones. And for pet care, I kinda wanna split it up that way too, so I'm gonna do 120, two tens, two fives, and five ones. Long days getting five, five, five. And then 20, 30, two ones to make 32. So now I'm gonna add those up. So I need three, four, five, six one hundreds, which is $600. I need three fifties which is 150. I need two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight twenties, which is 160. For tens, I need one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's $60. For fives, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. which is 75, and for ones, I need 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I need 18, which is $18. So to get the totals, I'm going to add up all of that. So we have 600, 150, 160, 60, 75, and 18, which is 1,063. And then if I add the 60 for gas, that equals the amount that we started with. So that is all for um, the cash planning sheet. And so now after this, I would look at all the envelopes I'm going to stuff and I will write them on my sinking funds page. I transferred all of these from January sinking fund page and we're not able to stuff like all of the envelopes this time. So all of the ones I wanna keep track of like medical, dental, car, uh, maintenance and all of that stuff, all of my sinking funds, they're already on, on this page. So I don't need to transfer anything. And my 100 envelope is here as well. So that is it for the budget with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video.